What's up, YouTube, Facebook? We are out here in the Grayson, Georgia area. Uh, we're about to do a uh, screen and recoat on these engineer floors. Um, this is a new client. I think they found me on Google. They're moving in next week and uh, need to get these floors back looking good. Um, the reason why they're getting the floors done is because they're moved in and um, the floors has a lot of imperfection, discoloration, and it just needs to be, um, you know, refinished. They did not did not want to get the floors pulled out um, because these are engineered floors, so the only thing they could do was get them replaced, and they didn't want to feel like going through that. So what we're going to do today, guys, is just refinish these floors, make them look a whole lot better than what they look now. So to show you guys what we did is uh, we got this foyer area right here. We got this dining room area right here. We got this kitchen area right here around the island. And we got this sunroom area right here. All right, so we're going to get started, guys. Come back and show you some results. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the floor screen down. Now what you're seeing is uh, what you see in some of our processes. We are putting the first coat down, tinted that poly, add some color to these floors. I'm gonna be doing the edging with the T-bar. As you can see, Scobie's gonna edge, uh, roll the open area, and it's gonna bring so much more life to these floors as you can already see. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we just got back. Uh, Mrs. Scobie is laying the second coat of poly on the floor, and you can just see how much better these floors look. Now, again, the floors had some really, really bad damage right here, okay? And I did explain to the customer, there's only so much we can do when we do a screen and recoat. Um, but this is an engineered floor. Unfortunately, you can't sand these floors because you are taking a big risk, and most of my sanding guys do not like to sand engineered floors because if you hit a certain low spot, it'll go right through the wood. Um, also over here, 
whole, the second coat will make this look better, but this is where a lot of the um, the top um, uh, aluminum oxide has just worn off, which is very rare. But it just shows the the the, the, uh, neg the uh, neglection of the wood throughout the years. But again, doing this process is definitely definitely making the floors look a whole lot better, as you guys can see. So what we're going to do is uh, lay this second coat. Um, we're going to do another estimate. Estimates are pouring in and a lot of people are starting to call about the holidays. Um, so, uh, yeah, going to be definitely booking a lot of jobs for the holidays and I'll come back and show you guys the final results. Also, the client did get brand new carpet. So what we did is put down these tarps. So when we walk, we walk on these tarps and also takes us. We always take our shoes off on the second coat anyway. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, we are done. Second coat is applied, ready to walk on, foot traffic. Man, I must say these floors came out good. Again, not perfect, but good, because we did have some uh, damage, tried to help blend that in, but you can still see that long, deep scratch that went into the engineered floor. Um, and then over here in this kitchen area, I don't know if this is water damage, but you can just see where that top veneer had just, just I mean, just flaked off. Uh, probably some type of water damage. That's the only thing I can come up with. Like I said, I've rarely seen it this bad. But again, um, it does make the floors look a whole lot better, uh, especially right here. See it right there. But overall, guys, um, the floors definitely look a whole lot better. Uh, again, the client with, with a semi-gloss finish. And I just booked a, a, another job. I just booked my last appointment, my last hardwood job for next Friday. And the guy was saying, what's the difference between the semi-gloss and the satin? And like I told him, basically just a preference. You know, it's like some people like tire shine and some people don't, you know. Um, so if you like sheen, you know, I'll say go with the semi-gloss. And if you don't, go with the satin. I've never done matte. Uh, matte would just look like there's nothing on the floor, but it will be protected. But um, and, and gloss, I've done it, I think, three times this year. I mean, I've had customers that said they want their floors to look like a basketball court <laughs> so i did gloss but usually uh, i'm gonna say about 70 percent of my clients go with satin and then the other 30 go with semi-gloss all right guys that's gonna do it see you in the next one